Hey, what is going on guys, Techthusiast here, and this is a speed test comparison between the Huawei Mate 10 Pro against the OnePlus 5T. So which beast from the east will win this test, let's find out in this video. Starting off with the fingerprint reader, both of these phones unlock very fast and at the same time, so it is a draw. As you can see, there are no apps running in the background. So the first app to be opened up will be the camera app, and they both opened up at the same time. Next is Chrome browser and I'll go to The Verge. So the page is starting to load up and I'll scroll down and the advert loaded up first on the OnePlus 5T. Now I'll go to Amazon UK. And that was fractionally faster on the OnePlus 5T. Next up is Hot UK Deals and they both opened up at the same time. Adobe Photoshop and I'll open up the same photo and I was slightly faster on the OnePlus 5T. Next up is Microsoft Word and I'll open up a template and it was faster on the OnePlus 5T again. YouTube they both open up at the same time. Let's open a video. And some of the thumbnails loaded up faster on the OnePlus 5T. Moving on to the first game, Horizon Chase. It used to be Asphalt Extreme before, now I've changed it. Okay, so let's see how this gets along. And the OnePlus 5T loaded up slightly faster. Super Mario Run, OnePlus 5T seems slightly faster here. What's important here is to see which one loads up the level first. And the Mate 10 Pro loaded up the first stage faster. Skyforce. Okay, the OnePlus 5T seems to be faster. Let's just let it run it a bit more. Yep, and it is faster on the OnePlus 5T. <laughs> Next up is Sonic Forces. Seems to be slightly faster on the OnePlus 5T. Yes, it is. Spider-Man Unlimited. And it's faster on the OnePlus 5T. Temple Run 2. The OnePlus 5T seems to have taken the lead. Yes, it has, and quite significantly so. So this was the last game, and as usual, I'll let them run in the background. So here's a uh, extra app I decided to do, the speed test, and the Mate 10 Pro is ready to start. The Mate 10 Pro has a speed of over 206 meg and 178 on upload, whereas the OnePlus 5T has a speed of 215 meg and an upload of 186, so it's a draw. Round 2 RAM management. So the camera app opened up at the same time for both of the phones. Chrome browser, and it had to reload on the OnePlus 5T. Hot UK deals. Again, a slight reloading on the OnePlus 5T. Photoshop, the app has restarted. Microsoft Word, again restarting on the OnePlus 5T. YouTube, slightly slower on the OnePlus 5T, but they are both open. 
Horizon Chase and is restarting the game on the OnePlus 5T. Super Mario Run. Again, it is restarting the game on the OnePlus 5T. Skyforce. Restarting on the OnePlus 5T. Sonic Forces. And it's the same once again, restarting on the OnePlus 5T. Spider Man Unlimited. Restarting. Temple 1 2. Again, it has to restart on the OnePlus 5T. And lastly, the speed test app. And they are both open in RAM. Moving on to the Geekbench 4 test, both of these phones are on the latest update at the time of recording. So the OnePlus 5T finished in at 4 minutes and 1 second, which was 1 second faster than the Mate 10 Pro. The scores are pretty much the same, nothing major here at all. And the last part of the test is the compute test and we'll get straight to the results. So the OnePlus 5T finished first again at 47 seconds, which was about 8 seconds faster than the Mate 10 Pro. Although the Mate 10 Pro was slower, it did score a much higher point than the OnePlus 5T by about 800 points. So that does it for the speed comparison video. One thing to note is that the OnePlus 5T had 6GB of RAM to keep it fair for the Mate 10 Pro which only comes with 6GB of RAM. The OnePlus 5T did very well in round 1 opening apps and games faster. However, when it came to round 2, the Mate 10 Pro dominated the OnePlus 5T it kept all the apps and games in RAM, whereas the OnePlus 5T really struggled. I'm sure things would have been different if I had used the OnePlus 5T with 8GB of RAM. The next speed test is going to be very interesting, so make sure you are subscribed to catch that. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you in the next video.